Dear students, continuing to our series of painter techniques, I'm going to show you today a little bit of artist colors. We have our apple that we have been painting on the last tutorials and I'm just going to open a new layer, usually underneath here or command N. And I'm going to fill up this layer with a knocker type of color. So I'm selecting it all by pressing Command A and filling it up by pressing Command F. And I have already my ochre color selected. And now I'm going to an extra layer on top of the one with the ochre color. I can kind of background. And now I can start painting. I'm deselecting by pressing Command T, and I'm going to be working with the artist colors. And I'm going to start working with Boston Pinsel, Bristol brush. So in this case, I'm going to be working quite free. I'm not going to do any selection, although this would be a possibility. And um, just going to be working quite free and roughly, you can see that this technique gives you a quite strong uh, type of structure. You have like a little bit of impasto inside of it as well and I think that my brush is just too small for now. I'm going to grab some yellow. I'm going to do like a base of yellow. And you can see how nicely this is kind of mixing the colors together. I'm grabbing the red again. I like to save the shortcuts on my Wacom pen so that I can do it quite quickly. If I would like to be changing some information here, I can just be working with that quite fast. And the good thing about this brush is that we are kind of building up the colors. So I'm just grabbing the yellow back again. This is working with a very short um, brush strokes. I could actually change this as well to the mixing brush. This would be as well a, a good technique to be working with. At a certain point it's just kind of mixing and not adding so much color. And we can kind of play around with this a little bit as well. So I'm just first adding some colors. And afterwards I'm going to be mixing it a little bit more and adding a little bit less. So I'm just grabbing some green up here. And I'm doing some shadows down here. Reducing a little bit the size of my brush. To do a little bit of details. I would like to have some lights. And afterwards I'm just going to having this uh, mixing brush on. We have as well the medium qualities in here. I could just say that I would like to have this um, ungleich mixing more than adding color. So this number has to be higher than the amount of color that I have on top. Like this I'm going to increase the size of my brush. Maybe I can just really take all the color off and just work with this as a kind of a mixing brush. Keeping some of the brush strokes that we have here so that it's quite alive. And when I'm kind of satisfied with it I can just go back, add some color, reduce uh, the mixing function, and now I can just grab a darker color and work on the little shadows. Maybe get it even a little bit more dark, closer to this little steel, and I'm going to get this green up here a bit too much. Let me take the draw or drawing off so that I can see a little bit better what I'm doing here. Sometimes the drawing I think starts disturbing. And now I'm going to reduce 
the amount of color, mix a little bit more to take this very concrete part of it off. And now I could just open a new layer, put it underneath the layer of the apple. And I'm just going to add some color now. So I have to bring the color back and I'm adding some shadows. Maybe adding some rows. I would like to go back to the apple and do a little bit more from the edges of it. Okay, maybe darker. And always kind of jumping between large brush, smaller brush, mixing quality. And I'm going to the shadow and I'm going to mix it a little bit as well. Maybe for me to mix the color from the shadow from this layer with the background, I would need then to go to Hintergrund Farbe Übernehmen, or I don't know what's the name of it in English, but uh, it's the second option between safe transparency. So pick up underlying color, I think it's it's the name of it in English. And like this, I would have my apple with the oil colors. And I could, of course, be working on the details and uh, start making this a little bit more detailed. This could be an option as well. Let me check what I have here. Yeah, I'm on the right layer, but it's not adding color because I took the colors off. So working always from... Uh, bigger brush into a smaller brush and like this we can be working more details into it and then maybe kind of erasing a little bit of det details by mixing up the colors a little bit and then I'm just grabbing some white and I'm adding some white to my painting taking off and then mixing it up a little bit more. So this is a way to be working with this kind of brushes. Uh, of course you can go more in detail with all the functions of it. It's actually a very good idea. But uh, this is kind of how to be starting with it. Okay. Well, it's a very smooth, it's a very nice way to be working and I really recommend you guys to try this technique. Talk to you soon on the next tutorial. Bye-bye.